Hello, everybody. Splenny here with the Dark Side Detective. I figured we couldn't leave, you know, things the way they were when we left them last time. So, uh, we're going to, uh, get into the sequel and see what happened to poor Dooley. I mean, look, the queen looks so sad looking outside. We need to know what happened. And we have six cases at least right now, with the seventh coming soon. So without further ado, I guess we just go ahead and jump into it. We have missing presumed dark side. What will we find? Let's go! I gotta... I gotta find Dooley. And I forgot to check something real quick. Okay, I checked it. We're good. So, without further ado, here we go. Uh huh. Previously on the Dark Side Detective. Oh, it's been oh, it's been one year. Whoa. It's been one year since my partner, Officer Dooley, went missing from the motel. Dooley? Dooley? I have an idea where he's ended up. <laughs> oh, no. So I've been chasing up old leads. The portal here is still locked down. Dooley, where are you? And started chasing new leads, too. Have you seen this man? <laughs> Sorry, it's hard to see anything through all this smoke. <laughs> are you in there, Dooley? <laughs> I've run out of official avenues to pursue, so I've taken some time off to search on my own. So I'm asking for your help. Maybe you've seen something that'll help me find my friend. Maybe you have a strange glow in your backyard. Maybe there's an odd energy in your workplace, or perhaps food has been gone going missing from your fridge. Anything at all, just reach out to me via the station. Please, I need your help, Twin Lakes. That's some heartfelt pleading. And now, on TLTV, we have a squirrel who can count. Get off the stage. <laughs> and now, on Dick Brickman's Morning Glory. <laughs> Dang it, game. A squirrel who just just nuts about numbers. Oh, we're actually going to be talking to people and looking at stuff now. We are playing the game. Well, we have Roxa with us, who's our old spooky catcher looky outer four person. How was it? It went well. Come on, let's go. <laughs> I know you're lonely, but hounds up, but hounds off, hands off, cowboy. This is a Mac, not a duster. <laughs> nah, I'm not saying you're dressed like a cowboy. I'm just calling you one. Like a clown or fool, only nicer. Except for now that I've explained it, it's not so nice. Oh well. But yeah, keep those gunslinging hands to yourself. Again, not a cowboy. I know, cop. And you look at the sign. Equipment storage only. Please stop leaving stray animals in here. Sorry to hear about Dooley. I'll edit some really sad music over that piece. Pull on the heartstrings. You'll have cranks calling you about all sorts of weird stuff in no time. Thanks very much. <laughs> that's a very... That's very much a mixed blessing. 
Yeah, we couldn't decide if Morning Glory looked better or with or without a bush. Oh my god. Poor wee guy is pointing at his mouth and rubbing his belly. Is he miming the answer? I don't understand. What number is that? Two? What? What am I doing here? You're on Dick Brickman's Morning Glory, Twin Lakes premiere and only live morning talk show. This is the weirdest first date I've ever been on. <laughs> date? What? You brought your mathematical squirrel to us to highlight his numerical skills on almost more or less live TV. I met this squirrel through the classified ads. I I thought he was a person. Hmm. Oh yeah, we already, still, we already saw that. So, do I just... Please. We're leaving. Alright, let's get out of here. We don't need this no anymore. You can't fire me! I can, and I have. If you were such a good psychic, you'd have known not to come into work today. Get out of here. Interesting. Are you gonna... I guess I should. So we have the editing room, the stage... Lights on. I guess I can't enter. It's a list of the network's shows. No news is good news. The news-free news show. Weather Weather, where they discuss what weather is, but don't forecast it. And the economical no-prize lotto. Making sure those are the only ones. An empty can of paint. Looks like they're freshening up this room. So that's a door. We have a fire extinguisher. And our trusty bin. It's empty. In case of fire, burn. Little pedestal for the star. Do you think these things are made out of real stardust? You know that's unlikely, right? I'm still taking it. <laughs> We're still taking the star, star. And we have the dressing rooms, the doors, the editing room. Well, let's talk to the mystic lady. Detective, there you are. Hello? Wondering how I do your name? That's not my name. I said job. I was just on the ship. Because I am Madame LeBeg, Twin Lakes' finest psychic. A skeptic, I see. Try this on for size. I know you're searching for somebody. Your partner, Peter Donnelly. His name is Patrick Dooley. That's what I said. And again, I was just on the show. Fine, I saw your plea on the TV in my boss's office, but I'm a psychic and I can help. I know a place that lets people contact the other side. He's not dead. No, the other, other side. Okay, what is this place? I can't tell you, I have to bring you. Well, let's go then. We can't. We can't. We can't, not yet. My stuff is locked up inside the storage room. Okay, let's get it and go. Eh, I left my key in the dressing room and I can't go in there. My replacement is here already. Embarrassing, right? Oh, d d tell you what. You get my stuff and I'll meet you by your... Hold on. I'm getting a vision. I'm seeing a police car. Well, obviously I'm a police off... Super! See you there with, with my bag. Ciao. What just happened? <laughs> so we need to go into the dressing room and get the stuff. But we also have a door. I'm tempted to go in the door. Go away! No stars here. I downsized the staff into one room so I could have an, an ensuite. Alright, well, I guess we're going into the dressing room. Oh, I thought we were meeting outside. Huh? A moment ago, when we spoke, you said... This is a different person, detective. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. We have a, we have a didgeridoo. Oh, look, a didgeridoo don't mind if I do. Oh, he took it. Fair enough. 
I can see all my pores, crow's feet, and stress wrinkles in perfect clarity. And they're all sad lamps, too. So I don't even feel be feel bad seeing all that. That's just some flattened out aluminum foil. Public access doesn't have the budget for real mirrors. What a colorful range of makeup. Sadly, I share this room with anyone going on TV, from presenters to clowns. Uh, clowns? I know. They should treat a star like me with real respect. Flowers from the station manager to welcome me to the new job. Welcome, new employee. It's the personal touch that I appreciate. So... We have a key. That must be the lockbox key that Meg mentioned. Hands off, that's for employees only. That's me and my ball heads at last year's PsyCon. I signed so many balls that day. Aren't they divine? My fans, the ball heads, they kill for me. I even had a vision of one doing so once. Can I get this person's name and address, please? <laughs> They write for me to me for advice, my fans. I don't reply, of course. I never work for free. There we go. And we have a crystal and a crystal ball. That crystal is melite. It helps people with a sense of fashion. Actually, you should take it. The centerpiece of my psychic's arsenal. Sure, people want their cards read, but they want to see a crystal ball. All right, so, uh, did we talk to her? I think we it's amazing that we live in a place like Twin Lakes, rife with real magic and mystery, but people are still more interested in stuff like this. So let's go ahead and check out the editing room. Knock, knock. Nobody's there. So can we go in? We also have reception. Let's take a look at reception. We have a plant, clocks, another bin, a board, the receptionist, delivery, delivery woman, and we can go to the car park and that's it. Time to look around. That's a drooping willow bee tree. How do you know so much about plants? Private reasons. Thanks for coming with, thanks for coming with Roxa. I know you can't have much time between college and busting spooks. It's the least I could do. You guys saved my life after all. And I wouldn't be in spook in spook touring in spook touring. Oh gosh. Oh boy. I wouldn't even be in spook touring if it wasn't for you two. Frankly, life's been way more interesting since I met you both. I want to find Dooley and keep investigating the weird goings on of this in this city. Speaking of which, we should get back to work. We have a case to solve. Yeah. Yeah. So let's take a look at the clocks. 25 minutes time. 15 minutes from now. The time in 10 minutes. The plaque reads, this is the time. I think this is meant to be a list of people who work here, but it's just gibberish. Yes, the station manager doesn't like fans reaching out to him for the performers, or the performers. He believes that they perform better when their attention is starved. Then we have a delivery woman and a delivery, but we're also gonna look at the bin. A bin! I have nothing funny to say about this. <laughs> how do I get... how do I... Oh. My brain just went... her name's Nur. Nur. Interesting name. Who do I get to sign for this delivery? I'd rather give you my number than my signature. Uh, that's no use. I need a... Oh, wait. That was a flirt, wasn't it? It was. Oh, how novel. <laughs> sign here, please. Um, sure. Thanks. Enjoy your delivery. Oh. Okay. What's in here? A box addressed to Mystic Mystique. There's an interesting clinking from inside it, but it's taped up too tightly to check its contents. A goldeny brownish stone. That's melite, also known as honeystone. 
I accidentally took a geology course instead of geomancy last semester. A wind instrument of the abor aboriginal people. And a dangerously sharp star. Does that mean we use that to open up the box? Hmm. It's a federal offense to open somebody else's mail. Just as well you don't work for the FBI then, right? We got glass bowls. A collection of fish bowls. Can we go to the car? Well, the only thing that she would be in the car park, right? Oh. No. <laughs> what? What is going on? The Blood Wolves? What are you doing here? We saw you on TV. We're here to do. We're here to do a help. How'd it go? Well, it certainly went. I can say that much. Who's the lady in the car? You kidnapping her for interrogation? Can I waterboard her? She's a psychic. She says she can help find Dooley. I just have to get some stuff for her. Can I still waterboard her? <laughs> Emily. Ho, oh, Emily. Also, our car has seen better days. Stripped of all its glory. Now it's just the moto. So, she's right there. Just sitting in the car. Just carrying on as if that's normal. Entirely ignoring the kid jumping on the roof. Which would have made getting in really difficult. This is going to be someday. Someday indeed. P is for police car because that's what's parked here. A few palm trees does not make this Sunset Boulevard. So we have the Blood Wolves. And... Emily. The number two scene news outlet in town. Impressive since it's the only outlet in town. Well, alright then. Hey, Ar Armelia. Sorry to drag you away from whatever fun teenager thing you were doing. It's mostly brooding these days, which, upside, is an easy hobby to bring anywhere. Mom and Dad... Mom and Dad said I'm no... Sorry. Dad? You... You mean Dad. I prefer the consistency of Mom and Dodd. They wanted to know if you have police clearance for minding kids, and also if you have insurance for minding kids, and also what cor courses you have done for minding kids. Do I need to ring them or something? No, they're over there because they didn't want to leave me unattended by them. Also, what's an incompetent? Is it your police rank? <laughs> All right, Emily. I like what you've done with the car, but if you wanted it bashed up professionally, you only had to ask. <laughs> Let's see what the psychic says. Why is there a kid jumping on this car? Maybe I picked the wrong cop to help. Jumping is helping, lady. Twin Lakes, the city that sleeps with one eye open. It's peaceful, especially when it's far away and asleep. Back in we go. I guess I can go now. Or not. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, you're new. Yeah, the last guy got possessed. Really worked out for him, though. The ghost has gotten him promoted to regional manager. Alright. So we have... Glass bowls... Okay, so... Let's see... Oh, we're gonna act as her fans. I think I'm missing something with that plan. We need to put the bowls on our heads. I won't find Dooley that way. Just look, we got the... I'm assuming we have to do that. Hello, are you a fan? I can see not. No ball in your head. Sorry, can't talk. Getting ready for my new show and don't have time for non-fans. Alright, now do we leave and put the bowls on our heads? Hmm. Okie dokie, do I give them to her? Oh, these look just like what my fans wear. 
Why, I'd think you were fans yourselves if you weren't so old. I'm not old. S so very old. I'm younger than you. Sorry, I can't hear your ancient and broken old people voices. I'm surprised dust didn't shoot out as you spoke. <laughs> Jeez. Mm-hmm. Okay. So... Do we do anything here? We have the storage room. Oh, we need to get by Marv. Do we didgeridoo him? Do we stone him? An empty can of paint looks like they're freshening up. So we have... Do we put anything in the paint can? Oh, we need the kids to put on the helmets. Blood wolves assemble! We're right here. <clears throat> Good. Okay. Who wants to earn their espionage badge? All of us, obviously. I need you to put these on your heads. Go in there and pretend to be a type of fan called a ball head to lure out their new psychic. Insist on seeing her. Say you want autographs or something. Just get her there and don't let her leave. You understand? Probably. Oh, and someone left a bag of... Uh-oh. Devin dropped his snack. You earned item bag of nuts. I wonder what we're going to have to use that on. Probably the squirrel. I had an itchy ear. <laughs> We're here to see the queen or something. She cures bald heads. No, guys. We're bald heads. Mystic Mystique's fans. Can we see her, please? We want her to sign our stupid heads. 100% no. Not gonna happen. My fans. I adore my fans. Ha ha. I'm King Ballhead, bring the mind witch before me, off with her head! <laughs> What's the mostest boxes you've delivered in one day, and also how many boxes can you carry at once, and also what size boxes are we talking about in my previous questions? Help? <laughs> Should we stop them? Even if we wanted to, blood wolves are unstoppable. I'm a ball head. Yes, siree. Give me some of those sweet, vague future predictions. I'm here for whatever this Nostra dumbass has to say. <laughs> I see you got your teenage sarcasm badge. Thanks. It was hard work, but it was totally worth it. Please go away. I do not have a lot of mojo, and you are overshadowing the little I've put into play here. Uh, you're awfully close, little guy. The closer we are, the less distance my questions have to travel, the more I can ask. That's guaranteed science. I should leave. Alright, well, let's... Do we talk to the new psychic? Oh. How did we surprise a psychic, huh? I mean, what a lovely surprise for you that I could make the time to see you, which was easy to do as I knew it was happening. <laughs> so now we can go inside the dressing room and take the key. I bet she didn't see this coming. The lockbox. Wait, where's the lockbox? Oh, it's in the storage. We gotta go to the storage. So is that the key to... Yeah. Oops. So we gotta... Toss the nuts at the squirrel? You can't go on stage. You had your 15 minutes of fame. I need to find a way to get these nuts to the, to the squirrel. Oh... The nut fits perfectly. I might not be able to play this thing, but I sure can use it like an oversized blowgun. And... Patoo. 
here goes nutting. <laughs> Reluctantly eats nut. So, what's eight minus three? Correct. Did you get that, Marv? Got it. About time. That's the, that's us for today, then, folks. It has been this has been Dick Brickman's morning glory, getting you up to start your day. <laughs> and we're wrapped. Let's clear the stage. I give this secret room a two-star rating. Only two? Yeah, it's drab and only has boxes, nothing particularly secret, no magic, and no strange old person who knows the mysteries of the universe. Very fair review. <laughs> It'll be on duelamati.com by day's end. So we have a camera, the lodge case, the lockbox, boxes, medium case. The label says solvable in 20 or so minutes. Obituaries, death notices for the magically inclined. This looks like an older model of the one out in the studio. For transporting mediums and other mystics. The label says for smuggling interview victims. Mm. It says Lameg's stuff hands off. The box is locked. What do we use the melite for? I'm thinking this is... Anyway. Right, what's in here then? Hmm. Looks like a bag. Guess this is what she wants. Madame LeMaig's emergency bag. Do we put that in the bag? Do we use that with the camera? Do we put this on the table? I don't know, I'm just trying to see if there's something random we do with the crystal. Do we dip the crystal in here again? Nope. Do we do we give her the crystal? Do we put the crystal on the thing? No. Just checking. Are they still saying the same thing? Alright. I feel like I'm missing something that I should do with the, uh... With the Melite. But... Hmm. Here you go. Okay, super. Now let's get out of here quickly. Eh. I thought the car wasn't going to start. Okay, so where are we going? Look, I know you think all this supernatural kind of stuff is nonsense. And some of it is. Some of it's presentation, showmanship. But Twin Lakes is special. I know you won't believe me, but there's other stuff going on here. Anyway, there's a place some of us know. That lets us harness this power to talk to the people on the other side. And this place, it can help me get Dooley back? All I can do is help you find him. You'll have to bring him back by yourself. I can do that, I just need to know where he is first. This is it, the switchboard. Hmm, it didn't have as many demolition in progress signs the last time I was here. That doesn't bode well. And we're at the switchboard entrance, which leads to the switchboard, and we have things to look at, which we will do next time, when we come back. But we are on our way with the Dark Side Detective 2. Will we find Dooley? Will we bring him back? Will we have found out what he's been doing in the doing? Doing. Doing in the year. He's probably made friends with all the uh, evil things. But we will find out next time. A dark side detective. Till then, y'all take care. And of course, have a good one.